I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in she might turn around what's up y'all this is 1028 awakenings and i'm back again with another motherfucking video what's goody I hope y'all are looking good, feeling good, and motherfucking smelling good. Shout out to my nail tech. I love my nail tech, okay? I love my nail tech. She know how to keep a little secret, okay? She do, okay? All she do is talk about my goddamn watch. <laughs> Not my nail tech. My nail tech is actually having a baby. So I'm going to get her a gift because I really like her. She be doing her thing, okay? All right, Scorpios, let's see what's going on in the grid. That's a lot, okay? So somebody could be trying to strip you of your power, okay? Somebody could be saying that you're powerless. You ain't got no power. You dumb as fuck. You not intelligent, okay? But you use your imagination in a very compassionate way. Somebody hate that. All right, let me see what the hell going on. All right, so Scorpio, you use your imagination, which gives you a lot of independence because you're courageous. You do something that other people won't do. You really do think out of the box, okay? Now, if some of you Scorpios, you do, you're very, you use your imagination and you're courageous, you're courageous and you're independent for other people. You help other people build brands. You help other people achieve goals. You help other people do this shit and you don't do this for yourself. This is a big problem. I don't have one of these problems, okay? But if you do have this problem, this really just means that you don't have a lot of self-worth and you don't feel like if you back your name or you back something with your name, it's going to be worthy of anything. All right. So you got to really get out of that mindset by going outside, grounding yourself, eating fruits and vegetables. Okay. Um, that's really the truth. I mean, some of y'all, I be trying to give y'all free things to do. You don't have to go to no conjure person. Also, you need to get plants, real fucking plants, bamboo plants, snake plants. Put them in your house, as many of them as you can. They purify the air, okay, as well as just do something else to something in your body, okay? You could go research it your damn self, all right? Scorpio, you have power out here, intelligent, and you have compassionate, all right? So, Scorpio, somebody feels powerless, they don't feel intelligent and they don't feel compassionate, all right? This is all in reverse. They don't feel like this from you, all right? They feel like they lost their power with you. They feel like they weren't intelligent with how they treated you. And this person feel like they wasn't compassionate, all right? Now, Scorpio, I'm going to be real with you, all right? Whoever this is, this is somebody that you was trying to carry, all right? Or they was trying to carry you, vice versa. You know how this shit go, okay? Now, you are someone who knows what the fuck they want? You are I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that means? But sometimes you go try to get a Build-A-Bear and you be like, let me build you up to be a bear and make you independent as well. You can't be building out no bears, okay? This ain't no Build-A-Bear situation, okay? And whoever this is, they feel like they a victim, all right, sometimes when people get out of jail, they be like, you know, I can't get no job, you know? I can't go out here in these streets because I got this 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 thing over my head. Okay, nigga, every job I got don't require no application. So if a nigga come out of jail and he got his head on right and he could pick up a camera, you could be a photographer. Ain't nobody asking you for no background check for no photography. I mean, it has to be a craft that you love, but there's a lot of crafts that you could do and the jail ain't holding you back. Okay, this also could be a female scammer. I'm not playing y'all. This is what I see. It ain't nothing wrong with a good jug, but you can't do no jug in the Aquarius age. Jugs was good back then, but jugs ain't good going forward. You got to be solid. Okay, um, so you could be a jugger, reformed, spiritual tarot card reader, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, street smarts is better than book smarts. These books ain't even got real information in them. Okay, I heard Christopher Columbus didn't he went all the way across the world but never even came to America. So Christopher Columbus never came to America, y'all. Never stepped foot on US soil ever. Okay, but went over to West India, which is Guyanese, Guyanese people or whatever, and, and, and tried to claim that and call that some other place. I mean, all these stories just don't have merit. So that's what I'm telling you, okay? 
All right, Scorpio. So you independent, you courageous, and you using your imagination. Some people is hating off that. And the person that's hating that is the person that's saying angels numbers don't exist. 333 three, three is not powerful. This is somebody who is just angry at you, angry at your growth, angry at your stability, okay? And uh, they using, they're saying things about you that's just not intelligent. And they're not being compassionate either. They're they running your name through the mud. All right. Let's see. All right, it says, say goodbye to the past and leave the baggage behind for good, all right? So, Scorpio, this could be somebody that constantly hates off of your growth, okay? With leaving the baggage behind, you could be somebody who doesn't know that this person drags you, but every time you see this person, you try to offer your services, you try to offer your love. You be like, oh my God, I got this opportunity, maybe it'll be good for you. And they be like, I don't want your opportunity, okay? This is somebody who you don't even know don't like you, okay? But you're going to start to see now. Okay, because you give them opportunities and they turn it down, but you think they turn it down because they got something better. They really turn it down, Scorpio, because you're you're offering it. And they don't want your fucking fuck ass offer. I'm just telling you what they said. <laughs> okay, it says create space for what will happen soon. So this is somebody who feel like they don't have space to do the things that they do. They don't have space to build the companies. They don't have space to do this. Now, this is somebody who kind of has their own place, but they constantly keep saying they don't have their own space. You know what I mean? They're like, I don't know. This space is not enough. Or this is somebody who makes a lot of excuses. Nobody got time for this. All right. This is somebody who makes a lot of excuses, Scorpio. All right. This is somebody also who feels like um, you made a great space for yourself. All right, and you let go of things that um, held you down. This is somebody who really sees that you're very independent, Scorpio. All right, this is somebody who doesn't really have a lot of integrity, okay? Uh, integrity says, does this situation align with your values and morals, but it's in reverse. So, Scorpio, somebody knows that you got a lot of values, a lot of morals. Somebody don't like that, though. They like, oh, okay, when I'm up against you, it's kind of like you perfect. Like, it irritates somebody that you kind of feel like you could be perfect, but you're not. you just independent. You're not even fucking anybody. Whoever this is, they could be having sex with a lot of different people or they could be you know having sex with one particular person they could be also just staying with somebody for validation like well at least i have a husband or at least i have a boyfriend or at least i have a girlfriend or at least i have a wife okay somebody could be having a lot of kids just to validate that they're doing something when they really need to stop fucking so much okay or having sex or they're overly sexual all right this is somebody who um uh, was in your life this person is unavailable to give you what you deserve so scorpio this is somebody who was around this could be like a home girl or a homeboy or just a family friend okay but they were always available but they didn't have a lot of integrity and and like i said before if this is a lover this person was always around you because they knew you were thriving scorpio but they secretly didn't fuck with you they feel like you were powerful and you saw these angel numbers, but they didn't believe in these angel numbers. They didn't believe in your intelligence and they didn't believe that, that you was compassionate. Okay. They felt like there was another side to you that other people didn't see and you were stingy and you were, um, you were not intelligent and you was mean. Somebody sees you differently than everybody else sees you. And they're like, I know the real you Scorpio. Okay. Yeah. This is somebody who is really sad. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting some Jimmy Neutron energy. So this is your intuition. You already know who the fuck this is. Yeah, this is here again. And this is somebody who's having a hard time accepting their reality once they see your reality. They just, it's hard. You know who this is, Scorpio. Let me see what the scoop is. Yeah, follow your intuition. Somebody just hates the fact that you got a lot of opportunities. It bothers them. Somebody hates the fact that you operate with integrity. That shit bothers them too. Yeah, this is somebody who don't even believe in everything that you got going on. They don't burn sage. They don't do any of that. And they're like, well, I don't have money because I don't burn sage or I don't have money because I don't do something. Okay, so we got cleanse yourself in reverse. So somebody stays in a practice that keeps them bound to poverty. Some of y'all need to pay attention to that too. Um, you could have a dream about this person with astro travel. Okay, so you could be dreaming about this person. Somebody don't have no job, so this person could have not, you know, they could got, they could, this person could have gotten fired, and, you know, they need to go get a job. So, somebody's like, they need employment. What is on top, underneath that? Yeah, so, yeah. So, somebody could need a job. They need to work. Um, this is somebody you've gotten altercations with. This is also somebody who tells people like, oh, this person is very confrontational. This person is very negative. This person talks about people. This person does, you know, this person says a lot of bad. I'm telling you, this person say a lot of bad stuff about you when other people don't say these things about you, but they do. 
All right, so this is somebody you not friends with no more. You don't talk to them no more. This situation has died. You could still be bonded to this person through something. You are bonded, yeah. You're not codependent on this person's energy. You used to be. You might have used to always want to be with them or ride with them or every activity had to include them because you love them so much. But whoever this is, they don't have no job. They think about that. They think about all your opportunities, how you're independent, how you do all this great stuff, okay? They also think about how y'all used to hang out together with friends okay drink beer or drink together or go somewhere but now y'all just can't fuck with each other like that and it's not a fight it's just an unspoken like i don't fuck with you but y'all could exchange passing some kind of way or dealings a death could have brought y'all back together okay but y'all relationship is over okay you cleanse yourself of this person but something keeps y'all again let me see what the fuck this is that's keeping y'all this don't make no sense let me see where the yellow card is at okay thank you What's keeping these people bound together, whether they be friends or lovers? What's keeping these people bound together? All right, so family. So this person could be like a fake cousin, fake friend. Also, there could be like some kind of marriage here, open relationships. So there could be a marriage that bounds y'all together so y'all got to still see each other. Y'all also could be bound by y'all group of people that you hanging with. If y'all all Jamaican or if y'all all uh, Indians or if you're all American or if y'all all live on the same street or y'all all from the south side or y'all all from the east side or this your, you know, mama daddy cousin side or this your mama side or this just your daddy side but it's a group that keeps y'all together and when this person comes around they don't even be acting like they look very plain and blah like they don't really want to be there and it's just because all these people have excelled and this person has not excelled there's limited potential they really shy they hold them back and it's all because of your achievement your business you know you exude finance you exude wealth you know and they, don't, they feel intimidated by that okay but y'all are connected to each other by marriage or kids i love y'all bye Scorpios is really private, but we'll sting if you get close. Huh? And they rule by planet Mars, they stay determined, then don't go. go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. That's they appreciate the ones they love, they ain't worth the fake shit. Uh -uh. They don't really like people switching up, and they can't be kind of controlling like bitch. Shut the fuck up Shut Scorpios up. are leaders and they always think ahead And they also open minded so you gotta give them credit give them. If you date in the Scorpio and they like you, they will make you happy They also like a meal so in the kitchen, no you can't be like Scorpios lacking. are often trendy and they got the best drip And they do not disappoint, man, you just gotta tap in Tagging shit this video to a Scorpio you